I'm back, you guys, and I missed you all, but I had to go ahead and face the music. Here we go. <laughs> Lord, they had me out here. I was reading y'all posts talking about I'm all out here running. Running from what? And for those that were um, concerned, genuinely, Yes, I've been out here traveling, getting a little peace of mind, um, doing some NAM duties. I haven't even hardly been on be YouTube. Um, I be miss it, but I had to pull away yeah. for a little bit just for my sanity. Nice and then here. it was, I think I've been going yeah. through some emotions. We're going to get to that. Um, but the main thing that I've been doing is um kind of started like a new business venture mm -hmm. but all in all spend a lot of time with the grands here's one and then my daughter had a birthday and check out that lace i've been slaying lace to the gods when i look back at it um one of my biggest blessings in my opinion is when i stop caring about wanting to be right about everything and what I mean by wanting to be right, you know, whether it was a debate, whether it was a argument, whether it was whatever. Like, I just wanted to be right. Like, I wasn't stopping or giving up on making my point and unless the other side made me feel like I was right. And when I look back at it, the more I've grown, the more I've matured, I realized and I said, man, all that did was allow me to drag out situations way longer than they needed to be drug out and most times it was in a negative way but the more i mentally grown and, and mentally matured i don't care nothing about being right if i messed up i'm gonna be the first to tell you i messed up and i have no problem with that but i feel like when you're trying to do right by a situation you want the other side to hear you and try to understand you and you want to hear the other side side of the story and try to understand them but that's when you're trying to do what's right for the situation when you just want to be right you just want the other side to hear you and that's just that so i said i was gonna get on here and ask y'all y'all opinion um how do y'all feel about it but for myself i stopped caring a long time ago about being right and I care about, now I care more about trying to do what's right. Okay, so with that being said, when, first of all, I found out about a beef the same time y'all found out. Most of y'all probably found out before I found out. So I did, I want y'all to remember the video that I made right after that happened. And I kept saying during the live, Pay attention. Y'all ain't paying attention though. Some of y'all are. Okay. But, um, so I didn't get to come back on cause I think that was like the Halloween weekend. Okay. So I ended up getting stuck, um, with babysitting stuff and was not able to make the video. Boom. Lo and behold, some more shit come out. Okay. So, um, I'm like at this point, now I'm going through different emotions, like I was stating earlier. This is how it went. At first, I was like super pissed. And it was like, oh, I'm coming for the jugular. I'm coming for the jugular. But then I thought about it and it's like, whatever. Whatever. It, it, I know I've always said I don't come on here when um, I'm upset. So I had to take a breather. Then it turned into, like, are you kidding me? And I was like, and you still running your mouth? And you the queen of calling somebody lie bad? And that's what you doing? And I'm going to be honest with y'all. To keep it all the way 100, I have not sat and watched any of these um 
videos. Um, I haven't sat and watched all her videos. A lot of stuff I have gotten snippets through emails, so stuff like that. I I've heard certain things that's been said. Um, so yeah, it was more, it turned more into disappointment. Then I went through the disappointment phase because I know who I am. Um, I know my heart and, um, then it went to being hilarious. Oh my gosh. The cat, me and cat twinning, period. <laughs> I, and, and the recording, record what? For what? And if it was a recording, it'd have been out here by now. Why? Why? What? What do I need to record our conversations for? Because me and Auntie had real live conversations, personal conversations. So I'ma just record for what? Girl, stop lying. So, I don't want to come off, and, and, and then this was another thing. Um, I didn't want to address it. I was hoping it would die down because no matter the, the stuff she was saying that wasn't true and wasn't all correct, I didn't want to come back and do um, anything to make her look bad because clearly she was doing that on her own. So that is not that is not me. You know, it, it is what it is. Um, but I just want to show you something about communication and um, just proper communication. And this could have been dead in a mature way from day one. Okay, so a lot of y'all do not even know this because it was handled in a mature way. But to be all the way 100, me and auntie had been stopped talking. We had, for me, the friendship was already over the friendship that I knew that I thought that we had had already been over months ago. Okay. So because of a lie, pretty much, you know. And if you can recall, during the time that she was supposedly missing, people would ask, like, oh well, what is she up to? What's going on? Um, <clears throat> this and that, this and that. I never said, oh, we don't talk no more because that was the truth. We don't talk anymore. And even when people was in my chat and would, you know, especially with new people to the channel and be like, oh, like, oh, I don't like her. I don't this. I always defended her still knowing that the relationship that I thought we had was over anyway. But that, that, that comes with maturity. You get what I'm saying? And and so because I felt like I handled it how it needed to be handled. I didn't come out and be like, oh, when everything hit the fan, I didn't say back back in September, end of August, I was like, oh, we done. I I didn't come out. And so that's the thing. So I handled it like I felt it should have been handled between supposed to be friends so the thing about it is I don't know what the play was supposed to be in the first place if you allow mosquitoes on the plane to try to run interference but the fact of the matter is that when mosquitoes on the plane try to spin a false narrative um, I didn't understand what was going on. So I did what I felt the need because I, I didn't see it as anything negative. Me offering to help pay for something for somebody. But 
whatever. So what I did was reached out to auntie and was like, girl, call me. And we talked about it. And then after I get off the phone, the next day is when I realized, oh, wow, like this was a lie because mosquitoes on a plane had made a whole comment talking bad about me on a video. And it was totally unnecessary. And, and the, but the thing about it is, I was just like, okay, as I was taught, you just feed somebody with a long handle spoon. It wasn't in it. I didn't come out here and broadcast anything because it wasn't necessary. Because that's not my character. Okay? And just truth be told, I mean, I still care about her. <laughs> I still care. Because I, I, I really was her. like, yeah, okay. I, uh, yeah, disappointed. Very disappointed. And I was like, but you know what? Hey, how I see it, I guess she need the coin worse than I do. Okay, so I guess Regina them ain't doing nothing for her to come over here to talk about them. So now it's like, well, let me talk about Melissa B and spin a false narrative about her. So then that's the thing too, y'all. I need y'all to understand that. It wasn't like I, I did see somebody's video. I watched three reaction videos. And so this was earlier on and during, during the, the beginning of the mess. And it was like, well, Melissa, like, why would you do this? First of all, I had, that's between her and another party if her channel got struck. I didn't strike the channel, okay? So <laughs> I'm out of that. So the thing about it too is, me bad mouthing, I, what I'm trying to figure out is why am I such the bad person and I never came on here bad mouthing her. So clearly I'm not trying to destroy her. Okay. And there was, and, it, and if that was the case, um, if there was this stupid recording, me recording conversations, that is her paranoia. Okay. But I don't take, and, I, and you know what though, because of everything that I've dealt with to, and experience the the shadiness and uh, the mess I mean I totally understand being skeptical of having conversations with people okay but that was her paranoia speaking and that's how I'm gonna put it I'm gonna leave it at that it was just her paranoia speaking and without having I mean I don't know this is all I can say is I feel like it could have been handled a different way. She could have called me. <laughs> Just go to the horse. I mean, if I, it, in that situation, you know, but hey, it is what it is. Rah, 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 rah. But also to respond to those that felt like, oh, well, Melissa B is doing this, whatever. Doing what? First of all, but Melissa B is doing this to... Um, make auntie lose subscribers y'all it don't work that way just because somebody over here got 4,000 we doing we do the same thing so I'm not gonna get all of her four guess what because we already pretty much had the same subscribers y'all I do I'm slow when it comes to judging character true taking accountability but I ain't dumb that don't make no sense okay so with this whole thing being spent about Melissa B trying to just do away with auntie what like before I even did this tea stuff myself like I I've been following her I've been watching her like way before I ever was monetized still like been watching her been ordering stuff off the wish list for Amazon like years ago, years ago. Okay, and and I don't have no ear, but I do want to show y'all something. Pay attention to the days, there wasn't anything shaded. Okay, um, when I sent the message. To mosquitoes on the plane. I was on the phone with Auntie. She knew it. Okay, just look. Okay. 
All right. When it seemed to be some kind of drama being created, I reached out. Just look. I mean, this is the thing. I I reached out. Okay? And I told y'all before, when I did the, the live video, when all this stuff first started happening, I kept telling y'all, pay attention. Pay attention. And, you know, I mean, I just want y'all to look. It's, and I'm not trying to make her look bad. It's just that I got to do a little bit to defend myself. But I want to move on. You know, I don't. It just doesn't make sense. Okay? It, it doesn't make sense. Y'all think, you know, yeah, and guess what? Like, I lost quite a few subscribers behind this, and it was like, you know what? Well, they wasn't for me in the first place. For them to just allow someone to get on here and <clears throat> say all this unnecessary stuff about me when she, I mean, it was, I thought being her was better than that. And I will, I will say that, um, I will take accountability where accountability is to be taken, but she has to be held accountable as well for the immaturity. That that's just it in a nutshell. I mean, I mean, but I want to thank everybody that you know do support me, and I totally understand those that don't want to rock with me anymore because people, a lot of content creators and subscribers. And members, they want you to pick a side. And so those that have left, um, hey, I'm okay with you picking a side, okay? Um, I know you'll still be in the bushes. Just please remember to give me a thumbs up <laughs> every time you come over there. You know, you know, we still going to have fun over here. Um, I'm changing it up a little bit also, y'all. And so... But we still going to have fun. And, you know, like I said, just pay attention. Stick around. The holidays are coming. There's so much more to be thankful for. Um, and I'm not, I'm moving on from the negative. And, I mean, that's that pretty much. Um and there are some relationships that I've learned really do deserve a conversation before separation, before going ghost. And what I've learned is a lot of people have a difficult time handling conflict or with that desire to not want to engage in any type of conflict or confrontation. I'm going to go ahead and make decisions without communicating. And I've learned that there are people that have been proven that have qualified themselves for access to us. And what ends up happening is because we're so emotional, we make a decision from that emotional place and do damage to a relationship that really deserved a conversation. And the beautiful part about it is, by the time the conversation is over, there may not be a need for separation. There is just a need for clarity. And when clarity came, understanding and solutions were provided. And I've learned that there are a lot of things that by the time we're done communicating, go, oh, wow, if I only knew, that's how you feel. We will probably be friends right now. Nah, I'm straight. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, hopefully I'll be able to come live later on this evening. I will be doing some more traveling as usual. But... I want to stress the importance. Keep your comments cute. Okay. Um, I ain't never blocked so many fake troll pages before in my life to this happen. So, um, and I haven't get notifications about, um, you know, people reaching out to me. I will be responding and I'm okay. I welcome your questions. I welcome your questions. Um, but what I'm going to say, don't be disrespectful. And I always say that. So um, until next time, my good people, remember to tell someone that you love, that you love them because tomorrow is not promised. And I will see you guys very, very, very soon.